Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownload Blog. And Reminders may seem like a dull app that maybe doesn't have a lot of functions besides very simple to-do lists and reminding to get something at the store. But it can actually be a really powerful to-do list, a reminders, notes, organization, all types of things. In this video, I'm gonna show you a lot of different uses for it and how to make it really useful. Taking a look at the Reminders app itself, we'll do a quick rundown of what the interface is. So you have four organizers at the top. So you can click edit and modify these and you can choose between today, scheduled, all flagged and assigned to me. You can also reorganize them to whatever you want and have these on or off. So it'll show up with the categories up top. So scheduled is anything that's gonna show up in your future. Flagged is anything that you click the flag button on so they'll stand out. All is just all of them and today is obviously things that are assigned for today. And then underneath there you have all of your lists. Now I love this because I can do lists for a bunch of different activities that I have. So for instance, this is called day and I have a, a little yellow star by it. So this is my day by day items. So this is my schedule for today. As you can see, um, woke up, breakfast, stuff like that. So then as I go throughout the day, I check off an item as I do it. So I had my 12 o'clock class. So I check that off and it'll go down to the bottom. If I wanna hide my completed items, I can also do that by clicking hide completed. So these are the remaining items that I have for this afternoon. I can turn show completed back on so I can also have a recap of what I did. Then I have folders for iDownload blog for any videos that I have to do for the iDownload blog channel, then any videos I have to do for my Harris Craycraft channel, any schoolwork that I have in the future to do, then I have a grocery list. I have one that I really like, which is repeated. So for things such as filming, I have a checklist of all the things I need to do when I'm filming to make sure that there's nothing in my teeth and my hair is okay and the background, there's no objects, that I have a microphone set up and I can just go through and check these off every time that I'm filming something. Or for instance, my overnight oatmeal, when I make that, um, the night before, I have all the ingredients so I can go through and make sure that I have everything in there and I don't have to think about it. And then additionally, I have a travel list which just has everything I need for travel. And then I actually have a folder down here or a subfolder, which is really nice if you wanna group some of these together by dragging them on top of each other, you can create a subfolder, but I have future things. So here I have one called board. So if I'm ever bored, these are things that I told myself I wanted to do in the future. And so I put them here so I don't forget. So I can go in there and it has a few different things I can do. And then books to read, some books I want to read in the future. And I have that under future things. So this is a really great way of organizing basically everything I need to do, both on a micro level, so day to day, and also on a macro level, things I need to do in the future um, and in general, as well as different to-do lists and checklists. This is really functional for that. Now, once we go inside an individual reminder by clicking the I, we have some really great options. So you can add notes to it so that you can have a bunch of information and just more details to whatever your reminder is. But you can also add a URL. So for instance, um, in my future read the list, I have a couple of articles. And it just has the URL there. Of course, it is a reminder. So you can choose a date and a time for it to remind you. But then you also have really great options to do it based off location. So for instance, if I want to be reminded about dropping off a package at the postal office when I get to Starbucks, I can do that. So I can make a reminder called drop package off and have it set for when I get to Starbucks so I don't leave the package in my backpack and forget to drop it off. But then also when I'm messaging a person, you can choose a contact from your phone. This way, if you're texting somebody, you will get alerted of that alert. So if I need to ask somebody a question, and I might forget, I can turn this on and whenever I'm texting them, it's going to give me that alert, which is a super cool feature and, and definitely a power feature. Now, unfortunately, you can only do one person at a time for this feature. You can also flag it. Again, and this just gives you, um, puts it in that subgroup up top, that header. And then you can choose your priority based off how urgent this is. And this will basically put little exclamation points before it, just as a little visual. And then you can also choose subtasks. Now, subtasks is an amazing way of really breaking down projects and assignments that you have. For instance, I have a paper, so I broke it down into a few distinct categories. And as I finish these assignments, or as I finish these parts of the assignment, I can check them off as I go through them, and then I can finally finish the whole assignment. So this is an awesome way of using subtasks to uh, really organize and break down assignments. And in order to make something a subtask, you just indent or outdent by swiping in to the right or left. 
So this is currently not indented, but if I swipe to the right, I can indent it. You can see what that looks like, which is one of my favorite features. Really great for organizing and really great for breaking down tasks. Now, another cool feature is having Siri help you with reminders. So you can tell Siri to add something to a specific list. Uh, this is particularly great for groceries and you can actually say multiple things at once. So I have a grocery list and if I say, add milk, bread, and cheese to grocery list, it'll add multiple items to the groceries list. So that's great for being able to do multiple commands at once and be able to know that those are separate items. But also if I'm reading an article, I can have it add it to my reminders as well. So if I wanted to add this article to my reminders, I could tell Siri, add this article to reminders. And that is now in my reminders and I can add it to the list that I want. Now, one really nice feature of reminders is that you can share lists as well. So if you have a family grocery list or, you know, a family anything, or you just want to share any list of to-do items with somebody, assignments, tasks, things like that, you can go ahead and share a whole list right here. And this will be under the name and appearance, which you can also customize the icon and the color and the name, but you can share it with somebody so they have access to edit that if they are on iOS and using iCloud. So that's great if you want to share a list with somebody so that you can collaborate on a to-do list and see the things that you both need to bring for something. Now there's also the option for a widget on your home screen with iOS 14, which is great. So this allows you to have a view of whatever list you want on your home screen that not only allows you to go right into it very quickly, but also to see what you have to do right on your home screen. So if you wanted to add one of these, you hold down on your home screen and you click the plus button. And then you go down to reminders and you can choose what size you want. So having that on your home screen is great. And you can also have it to the left of your device as well. If you want to just slide over and get to that, you can add the widget right into here as well by doing those same steps. And if you wanted to clear everything else out, you could keep the left side of your screen just for reminders, which could be really useful. So those are the ways that reminders are super cool on the iPhone, both for widgets, but I really, really love the subtasks that allow me to break down a task into different steps, but also the recurring lists, such as the things for making my overnight oats or doing a packing list, but also being able to be reminded of something when I'm texting somebody. I've started to use reminders for pretty much all my daily scheduling and planning for any articles I want to read later for all my future goals. Everything pretty much is now living in reminders. Really powerful and I'm really a big fan of reminders with iOS 14 and beyond.